Good morning from Montgomery, Alabama. Cloud cover this morning has been dominant so far, but it is starting to burn off from the southwest to northeast across southern Alabama, eventually pushing into southern Georgia as well. Forecast models do show the potential for an isolated tornado or two. Eastern Alabama through central and southern Georgia, pushing into southeastern South Carolina, the same areas that were impacted by those long track, large destructive tornadoes yesterday up into the Savannah River Valley with a funneling of the low level jet up that terrain. Definitely set the stage for long track tornadoes. Today, the wind shear isn't quite as strong as it was yesterday, but still do expect isolated tornadoes. There is another enhanced risk by the Storm Prediction Center today across the southeastern U.S. This is the third day in a row with an enhanced risk for severe weather. The first one back in Texas yesterday over the southeastern U.S. Today over the same area. And it looks like the tornado threat is going to be maximized from Montgomery toward Columbus, Georgia, toward the Macon area, right along the differential heating boundary. Basically an out outflow boundary that was left behind by a complex of storms yesterday. That very large QLCS event. Numerous tornadoes reported across southern Alabama, southern Georgia, all the way through southeastern South Carolina yesterday. A combination of a squall line with embedded tornadoes and renegade supercells. Today, we do expect the development of a cluster of storms, the southern periphery of which uh, are, are, is most likely to have that tornado threat. I expect that cluster of storms to develop here across east central Alabama, pushing into central Georgia, uh, right along that area from Montgomery toward Columbus. And any of those storms that are able to develop along the southern edge of that line will have the greatest tornado threat. A low level jet is expected to intensify as we go through the day today, up to about 40 to 45 knots. Yesterday, we had a 50 to 60 knot low level jet. That's the wind about a kilometer above the ground that really accelerates the low level shear available for supercells to produce tornadoes. But there is quite a bit of directional shear, especially along the outflow boundary here left behind by the complex of storms yesterday. That area could force a bit more of a southeasterly surface wind, enhance the low level shear. And that's why I think that the threat of an isolated tornado is greatest over east central, southeastern Alabama, especially central and southern Georgia. We're gonna be targeting the Columbus to Macon, Georgia area, mid to late afternoon, about three, four, 5 p.m. That's when we expect that tornado threat to really start to ramp up. So it looks like another impactful severe weather day today across the same areas that were impacted by severe weather yesterday.